Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. One of my favorite types of videos to film. Today we are talking about 243 Ambula droppages. So I'm going to tell you how I do it. We're going to talk about how much it drops at varying distances, probably all the way out to a thousand. And we'll do it even further than that. But we're talking about 243 Winchester today. And I'm going to be using some Remington core locked taking a bunch of deer with this stuff we've got some of those on film if you guys want to check them out those videos are up on the channel but i'm going to be slinging those 243 core locks out of my weatherby vanguard sporter this thing is super super smooth and yeah absolutely love this one this is one of the ones that my sons take out hunting when we go last year my one son used this. He got two whitetail and a black buck with this very setup right here. But you need to know whether you're, you're target plinking or you're out there deer hunting in the woods or in the fields or wherever you would deer hunt, you need to know the drop. So this baby right here is sighted in at 100 yards exactly and we're going to make sure in this video but deer pops up at 50 yards deer pops up at 200 yards or 300 or 400 yards you need to know exactly where that blue light is gonna hit especially if you're hunting you don't want to have any guessing well i sighted it in at 40 yards it's probably on somewhere around 175 i sight everything in exactly at 100 yards and then when i go hunting i have my little chart right here i'll show you what i got on this one uh this particular one is uh you can see there i like to put the dial and then the drop in inches so if i'm gonna do a holdover i just know my holdover for these you can see i put um 25 yard bearing marks that's how i did this one and then also the MOA dials, because this has an MOA scope. But all that rambling being said, you need to know exactly where you're going to place that round when you squeeze that trigger off, especially if you're deer hunting. You don't want to lose that deer of a lifetime. You definitely don't want to wound an animal. So very important topic in my opinion. 243 Winchester is a fantastic hunting cartridge. And we're going to take this one out to the range. We're going to verify that it's good at 100. Then I'm going to do some groups at 100. I'm going to take it at 50. And then I'm going to do some groups at 200. Just get some real life data with this setup. If it's sighted in at 100, where, where would I need to hold at 50? Where would I need to hold at 200? Then I'm going to show you some charts that's going to show us on paper the drop using this core locked ammo. Let me show you one real quick. There's what those core locks look like. It's a lead nose, deadliest mushroom in the woods. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, but And these have taken tons and tons and tons of deer over the years. Uh, but I'm going to show you real life out there at the range. The drop out of my Weatherby with this 243. Then I'm going to show you on paper, even out further, what that drop chart looks like and the trajectory of that round. Hopefully you learned something. Using these... One, because this is what, a lot of what we hunt with, and two, those lead nose hunting rounds is a lot of what you probably hunt with. Even if you don't have a box of the core locked, whatever you have is probably very, very similar. The stuff we're using here is the 100 grain core lock. Again, so let's hit the range, see what happens. Target. You push it in. Oh, bounced off and got you. Look what you just did.
All right, so back from the range, let me show you our 100 yard groups here quick. Like I said, I sight everything in at 100 yards. Did two three shot groups while we were out there. The first one, hey, that's pretty good. A 0.76 inch group with that Remington Core Lock Hunter Grain at 100 yards. So dead on, still dead on from when I sighted it in pretty much. Maybe could use a slight click over and down, but I left it right there. I'm good with it. Then if you look, the second group we did, two touching bullseye. We probably don't need to move that scope, huh? And then one, maybe that was me, or maybe it was just getting hot after flinging six of them. But second attempt, 1.130 inch group at 100 yards. Still not too shabby, especially with some hunting ammo. So then we verified our 100. Then I took it at 50, which I actually forgot to move the camera so you guys didn't get to see it. Uh, but I got that thing sighted in at 100. What if a gear pops up at 50? Where do we need to hold? Is it going to hit high? Is it going to hit low? Well, this result uh, is pretty much similar across the board if you sight them in at 100 like I do. 50 yards, it's a half inch off, maybe not even that. So if it's at 50 yards, just hold where you want it to hit and you'll still be good. And that is pretty much the same if you sight it in at 100 across the board, regardless of cartridge. I've done this test a lot of different cartridges. 243 isn't your jam. Go check out the channel. We've done a bunch more. <clears throat> then we went out to 200. Did two three-shot groups at 200. Pretty impressed with this stuff. Uh, 200 yards with that same 100 grain core locked. So at 200 yards, I got a 1.23 inch group. That's pretty good at 200 yards with hunting ammo, guys. And holding right here, our drop, that's what the point of this video is, right? To see how much it drops with a 100-yard sight in. It dropped 2.2 inches. So, with this setup, sighted in at 100, deer pops up at 200. That means I would need to hold 2 inches high. If I'm not dialing the scope, which at 200 yards, you're probably better off just holding 2 inches high. And then the second one here, check that out, guys. An even better group. That's a 0.827 inch group at 200 yards. Hey, that's that's impressive in just about anybody's book, I'd say. Uh, and on this one, holding a little lower, so that's a factor there too, right? This one dropped about an inch. So we had a 2 inch drop and then a 1 inch drop. Both really good groups. <clears throat> All that being said, Weatherby sighted in at 100 at 200 yards it's only dropping at one to two inches. We saw there on that live action out the range. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a drop chart for you guys using this core lock ammo, hunter grain 243. Do a little bit of math on paper, show you this chart. We'll take it, you know, way out there quite a ways just to show you guys the trajectory and the drop of the 243 Winchester. Check this out. All right, guys, so I plugged my numbers here with that core locked ammo. Muzzle velocity, 2960, and then we go to the chart. Sighted in at 100, this drop chart is saying it's going to drop 3 inches at 200, so it's saying a little bit more than what we actually saw there at the range. 300, it's dropping a foot. 400, 28 inches. 500, it's dropping 50 inches. Then yeah, we're getting into the realm of what in the devil is 50 inches, you know. You got to sit there. That's over four feet of holdover, right? So you get into that distance. Then we're going to be wanting to look at the scope dials, whether you're trying to hunt with your 243 that far or just slapping some steel out, trying to do some long-range fun with 243. You can see our MOA and our mills dials there. So at 500, it's 10 MOA or 3 mils just about. And then... It's losing its speed down there. It's going subsonic these rounds between 900 and 1,000. The 1,000-yard 1000 dial is 36 MOA and 10 and a half mils for 243. That's pretty flat. It's not the flattest, but in the grand scheme of things, that's still uh, holding on there pretty good. Then all the way to 1,200 yards, I did this one. 53 MOA or 15.65 mils. But there you have it, guys. 
243 Winchester using this Remington stuff. If you have something else, it's probably pretty similar. The 243 Winchester, you sight it in at 100 yards. At 200 on a deer, it's only going to drop two, three inches or so. So you can hold over just barely. 300, it's dropping about a foot. You guys can hold over a foot. You know how much that is. Beyond that, uh, in the grand scheme of things, like I said, 243 Winchester is pretty flat, but hopefully uh, that drop chart will help you out if you're trying to send them long range. If you're using a similar ammo, really, really out to 500, everything's going to be pretty close. But when you get into stuff with some crazier BCs and stuff, it's going to change that trajectory. But hope you... Uh, learn something in this video that chart is going to be a, a fantastic baseline for you to use regardless if you're flying a 243 winchester but appreciate y'all watching let me know what you want to see next time make sure you're subscribed we do this every single day we got tons of others of cartridges calibers other than 243 this exact same video if you want to go check them out appreciate y'all good luck in that deer woods stay tuned we got tons of videos coming on the way appreciate y'all we'll see you on the next one Hoo -hoo.